Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Katif Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show a new functionality for Inventor 2011, one that as a user, I'm pretty excited about, constraint limits. I'm going to take this cylinder and I'm going to control the stroke of the cylinder in such a way that it behaves in both a realistic and a practical manner. Now Inventor's default behavior is to allow the piston to pass through the end caps as if the end caps don't exist. And that might be fine for development work, but ultimately we'll want to limit that. Now in the past I could use things like uh, constraint sets as well as positional representations to accomplish that, and those are still absolutely valid ways of accomplishing that. But now I've also got something new I could take advantage of, and that is the constraint limit. So I'm going to activate my constraint, and everything looks much like it always has. But now if I click on this button I'm indicating here, we can see that I can set a maximum and a minimum value for that constraint's offsets. So to begin, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place a constraint between the end cap and the piston. And this is exactly as I've done it in the past. Once that constraint's set, now we can go ahead and see something new. So that constraint set and now I can set the maximum of 30 millimeters in this case and a minimum of 5 millimeters and I'm going to use that to control the offsets of this make constraint I've created. Accepting that, I can now drag that piston but it's going to stop short within the limits of that constraint and that can reflect an example where I might want to limit this piston stroke to extend the life of the cylinder and reduce maintenance costs in the whole design. Additionally, now that I've set that constraint for this cylinder, I can take advantage of that intelligence that I built in in the assemblies that use this cylinder, capturing that intelligence and making sure that any designs using this cylinder also have a reduced maintenance cycle and reduced cost all by taking advantage of that brand new functionality in Inventor 2011. That's it for this What's New video, but look for more and be sure to check your What's New inside of Autodesk Inventor 2011.